What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and I'm back at Daimler Trucks North America in Portland, Oregon. And as you can see right here, Optimus Prime is right behind me, and I'm happy to be here. And it's all because of Daimler Trucks and, of course, the wonderful folks here. And we have Annie Johnson, who is the brand manager. Hey, guys. What's up, Raging Nation? And we also have Chris Jory, who is the manager of Concept Development. Development. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's talk about Optimus. We saw him in uh, Age of Extinction three years ago, but now we have Optimus in Transformers last night. Is it the same truck or are we doing something different with Optimus? We did tweak it a little bit. Okay. So they did come back to us and actually had some changes. They wanted some minor performance changes more than anything. I'll let Chris kind of expand on exactly what he did uh, to do that. But it was something that was requested for this new movie to make it safer to drive a little bit more um, finessed, if you will. One of the biggest things is the power dome. So in the last movie, you will see that the power dome was much taller, more of a character, yes. which has been requested this time. We lowered it, and then also the biggest thing in front is the Autobot logo and the hood handle. A lot more stylized, uh, thanks to Steve Reed in my department. We also changed the lighting. The lighting can switch from blue to amber, whether it's movie mode or on highway mode, as well as the door mirrors. For safety, because when driving the truck on the street, yes, um, the various shows weekly. The mirror base is still the same as movie mode mirror base, yep. so we can switch movie mode to safety highway mode yes. uh, quite easily. Is there anything else that uh, you want to share with me about uh, any differences? I don't think so, Alex. Well, actually, there is one more thing, Alex, and I think you guys are going to love it. I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. We are here. We are waiting. Wow, that was really, really cool. We got Optimus and Optimus' voice. And you guys got Peter Cullen for that? Yeah, actually, it's it's a really cool feature. This truck makes appearances. There's two of them. There's the stunt truck and the beauty truck. They make appearances almost every week still. Wow. Um, this long after the movie being out. And they actually, they already are scheduled out probably the next 18 months, believe it or not. So wow. We thought it was a cool ad. Paramount originally came to us, and they came up with it for some promotional appearances with Uber yeah. that we'd done in the past in the last movie, and then we continued it on. Um, it's great. This thing's at parades. It actually goes to comic cons all over the place. It goes to SEMA, a truck show, or the yeah. car show you'll see in Las Vegas. Um, it's actually even done some great work with like cancer patients, kids who wow. um, some charity work. It's just awesome. We love having the opportunity to do that. It just adds a little bit more touch. Peter was great with his voice and stuff. And yeah. It just makes it a little more realistic for people. Well, that's absolutely fantastic to know that Optimus is really, really proactive even outside of the movie. So really, really awesome. I'm curious. I've been here three years ago and I saw Optimus. I'm seeing him again. There's got to be something else you can show me. Uh, Alex, absolutely. You know we have. I'd love to surprise you and uh, the Raging Nation. So uh, let's step out back and see what we've got. Let's do it. Can you tell me about the process, about how Onslaught came about as a concept? I mean, did Michael Bay just come to you guys and say, okay, what do you guys have in your lineup that we can use as a Decepticon? Very much so. We uh, created some renderings for Michael Bay in the studios at Paramount. Yeah. More than anything, it was just throwing out what products we do have, sure. what we can supply for the movie in the time frame, and then obviously we supplied images of what we had in the mm -hmm. current lineup. Yeah. They really liked this, and then yeah. the next step, Michael Bay and his guys enhanced it with the green front end. We ended up going with this vehicle, basically repurposed an old show truck, as you can see. Onslaught turned out really well. It's got a major presence. What kind of specific modifications did you make for Onslaught? Onslaught really was the bump, as you see, which says never back down. Very good Western style logo. The paint work was done four or five years ago for a previous show truck by mm -hmm. Twins Custom Coaches in California. Yes. And uh, Pete Santini did all of the candy green paintwork on it. The cab was really done by uh, Paramount and Michael Bay's group to enhance obviously what was there. So yes. Cab forwards new. Yeah. Everything rear of the cab was existing product. Chris, thanks a lot for your time with Onslaught. I really, really appreciate You're it. And I was wondering, since uh, Onslaught is out here, do you think we could take it for a spin? Absolutely. Let's do it. Wow. All right, we're gonna roll out. Woo -hoo. <laughs> check that out. We can see all the, the stuff in the back. Okay, let's check it out, let's check it out. 
Holy! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, this is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Holy, we're, we're, we're inside Optimus. Hey look, it even comes with an Optimus pillow! So we just spent a lot of time with Optimus Prime and also the Decepticon Onslaught and I cannot thank Daimler Trucks of North America enough. Is there anything else you want to say to Yeah, we'd like to, to say fans? thank you, you know, to the fans and everybody. We just want to say thank you again to Michael Bay. You know, he's been awesome for us. He gave us this opportunity and, you know, working together with them came up with these awesome characters that continue to be loved by kids and adults and everybody everywhere. So thank you, Michael. Um, also Paramount and Hasbro, you guys have been fantastic to work with too. We, uh, we love working and collaborating with them on a continued basis. And, but most of all, I think I want to thank the fans. Uh, both for the Rage Nation and Transformers in general, but you, Alex, for sure, man. I want to say thanks again. Keep it up. We love your work. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Andy, and also thank you, Chris. You're welcome. You and your design team have been doing an amazing job because every time I see these designs, it just blows me away. Thank you. I also like to thank our Daimler Design team, as you just mentioned, E Black Design, and Twins Custom Coaches. And thank you so much to the fans and all the viewers watching at home. If you want to learn more about Western Star Trucks, visit westernstar.com. And they're also on social media, so they're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Got a lot of great content there. We're just about wrapped up here, but what I got to do is I got to check out Optimus Prime and Onslaught again. I'm going to hang out with them, and we're going to have a great time. And I hope you guys have been having a great time at home. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.